this summer we went on an amazing road trip through Western Norway. On the first day of our trip, we stopped in Jella to take in the peaceful fjord views. We also stopped in the historic town of Lom. Last but not least, we camped on top of a mountain at Segestad Farm. So without further ado, let's go on our adventure. The road trip from Oslo to the west was very long but very scenic. After hours of driving, we made a pit stop in the gorgeous Norwegian highlands. short stop, we were back on the road headed to Yella. While in Yella, we went to the Gamal Boutiquen, or the old shop. We've made it to Yella, and we're at the Gamal Boutiquen here. The old shop operates as a cafe and is situated right next to the fjord. It was all so picturesque. What have you done? You oh, you did it! This thing is, she would be distressed. Oh no. Oh, what's daddy doing? What are you gonna do, sweetie? What are you gonna do? Daddy's on the boat. Are you gonna go get him? Are you gonna go get daddy? No. Goodbye. No. She can't be controlled. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. Before getting back on the road, we took Dakota swimming in the fjord. Once back on the road, we drove to the historic town of Lom. First thing on our agenda was to check out the incredible Lom Stav Church. church. Hmm. Hey. The church was built around the 1100s and is almost a thousand years old. <laughs> It 
it is definitely a must-see if you ever stop in Lom. After checking out the church, we walked along the river and even saw some people riding zip lines directly over the rapids. Next, we found ourselves at the popular Loam Bakery for lunch. We grabbed some delicious pastries and found a great spot overlooking the river on the roof. With lunch secured, we took one last riverside walk before continuing our road trip. short drive later and we found the area we would be camping that night. The only thing left to do now was hike up the mountain with our gear until we made it to Segestad Farm. It sure helped that the entire mountain hike was full of breathtaking views of the mountain range and the fjord. Dakota! Dakota so pretty! Soon enough, we arrived at our destination, just as golden hour was setting in. Welcome to Segestad Farm. We're going to be camping here tonight and this view is incredible. On top of the plateau, we saw amazing views of Yelledalen, Urdalen, Stransida, and the well-known surrounding mountains. Of all the farms and streams, Segestad has one of the most distinctive and magnificent locations. The farm is situated in an open landscape at high altitude on a protruding ridge at the gateway of Glomsdalen Valley on the north side of Opstreensvatnet Lake. The farm is also an important historical location and was home to settlements and farms dating back to the Viking Age. Getting to spend our first night camping in such a magnificent location was an absolute dream. Oh, 
Oh, she fell into some bushes. Here she comes. Hey, good girl. <laughs> She's finally allowed to be zooming. She finally has the yeah the, the actual area to do it. <laughs> She stole it off of someone on the way up. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Zoomies. Zoomies. Living her best life. Living her best life. Outlet. The next morning we woke up to cloudy skies and even more views of the fjord below. Welcome to Sigistad. This is where we were camping last night in that tent right there and it was amazing. Okay, so we're just packing up camp now and we're gonna hike down the mountain and then we're gonna go to stream. But before we could fully leave our campsite, Dakota found some sweet little sheep to make friends with. What is she? There's so many. <laughs> There's so many sheepies. What are you doing? Wow. I could have slept on the couch. Look, Cody. This is so great, it's like she's at their petting zoo. Hey. This is the first time these babies are probably seeing a dog. With our campsite packed away and our spirits high, we continued on our summer road trip adventure. Thanks so much for watching! Be sure to like and subscribe and check out part two of our amazing summer road trip.